Hi everyone, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you a pretty cool product that I've recently discovered. It's a two-part wood filler in a tube from Metalux. Now I've been using a lot of wood filler recently. You've probably have seen my previous video showing you how to fill holes in wood for cupboard I was making. Now whenever you're filling holes in wood, you really need to use a two-part wood filler, something like this. This is a typical two-part wood filler. It comes in a tin. You've got a big tin of the filler. And then you've got a little tube of hardener. Now, there are a few things that you might find quite tricky about using a filler like this. Firstly, you've got to get the ratio of hardener to filler right. And if you don't, there's two things that can happen. Firstly, you'll end up running out of the hardener before you've got down the tin of filler. And secondly, if every time you're using the filler, you're using different quantities of hardener to filler, you're going to find that you don't get a consistent gelling time or hardening setting time. So you never quite know when it's going to go off. So there's three things I really like about this filler. Firstly, it's reusable. It comes with a screw cap and when you finish with the filler, you can simply put the cap back on and wait until you need to use it next time. In terms of the filler, a little bit more tricky because you've got to lever the lid off every time you use it and then put the lid back on again. And that is a bit of a faff. Secondly, it's really easy to use. Simply put it into an applicator gun like this and then either with a piece of Perspex or pretty much any flat surface, I often use a flat piece of MDF, you simply squeeze out the filler and then get mixing. Now the third thing I like about this is when you squeeze it out, you get a guaranteed ratio of filler to hardener every single time. This means you will know every single time you use it just how long it's going to take to go off. And being styrene free, you can work on it in bedrooms, rooms around the house without worrying about the really pungent odour you get from your typical two part wood filler. The other thing that's pretty cool about this filler is it comes with a mixer nozzle. It's got a corkscrew action inside that mixes the filler as you squeeze it through the tube. Now, the mixer nozzle does actually mix it well enough that you could literally squeeze out a line of filler like this. and that line of filler will go hard in a matter of minutes. In under 10 minutes, that bead of filler that I squeezed out has gone completely hard. But the nozzle's got another great application. You can use it to force the filler into gaps between two bits of wood, which is great if you're doing a filling job or you're just trying to unite the bits of timber together. The downside of the nozzle, of course, is that once it goes hard, you've got to throw it away. But at least when you do that, you can reseal the tube again, getting it ready for the next time you need to use it. So would I use this filler on a regular basis? Do you know I would? Why? Because when you're doing a job, whether it's filling holes in wood, when you're repairing a cupboard, or any sort of wood filler repair, you want to get the filler in, you want to get it done, and you want to move on quickly. When you've got filler in a tin, it's a great product, there's quite a lot of faff getting the tin lid off, scraping out your filler, which can also dry out if you leave the tin off, and then trying to get the right ratio of hardener to filler. With this stuff, all you're doing is literally taking the cap off, squeezing it out, a little bit of mixing, and away you go. So I really hope you found this video useful. Details of where you can get this filler will be in the description at the end of the video. If you've got any questions about this filler, it'd be great to hear from you, so leave me a comment at the end of this video. And if you're new to this channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here.